Hello there. Welcome to Disney Parks Attic. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides and attractions found at Universal Studios Florida at the Universal Orlando Resort. The park opened in the summer of 1990 to compete with the ever-popular Walt Disney World Resort. It was originally designed to function as both a theme park and a production studio, featuring a backlot tour, as well as attractions based on popular Universal movies. Over the years, the production facilities have all since closed, as more attractions were added to the park. The resort has expanded to include Universal's Islands of Adventure, Universal City Walk, Volcano Bay, and eight resort hotels. And in 2025, Epic Universe, the all-new third park, will be added to the resort. Once you've made your way through the entrance of Universal Studios Florida, you'll be entering straight into the first area of the park, Production Central. Made to look like a film set, most of the attractions are housed within sound stages. The first attraction you will come to is Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. This is a simulator ride that transforms you into minions before heading on an adventure through many different scenes. The ride includes two pre-shows in Gru's living room and then laboratory. You will exit through super silly stuff where you will have a wide selection of Despicable Me merchandise. This attraction used to be home to Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast and before that the fantastic world of Hanna-Barbera. Opposite Minion Mayhem used to be the popular show Shrek 4D, but this closed earlier in the year and will be replaced by another Minion themed attraction which is rumoured to open in 2023. The next attraction in Production Central is Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, a steel roller coaster featuring a loop and several helixes. This coaster allows its riders to choose from a list of 30 songs to listen to during the ride. You can choose from the likes of Black Eyed Peas, Beastie Boys and many more. Also, if you hold down on the ride's logo for around 10 seconds, you can access a secret playlist. But you will need to enter a 3 digit code for a particular song. Here are some of my favourites, but a full list can be found in a link in the description box below. The final attraction in Production Central is Transformers The Ride 3D. If this 3D dark ride feels familiar then you are not mistaken as it uses the same ride system as the popular Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man over in Islands of Adventure. You team up with Optimus Prime as you battle against the Decepticons in many exciting show scenes featuring a variety of effects. You can also meet Megatron, Bumblebee or Optimus Prime in a meet and greet in an area close to the ride building throughout the day. As you pass the amphitheater, which hosts shows and events throughout the year, you'll be entering the park's next area, New York. The first attraction you come to is one of the newest in the park, Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Opening in 2017, this is a 3D motion simulator ride which replaced Twister Ride It Out. The queue line features displays about the history of The Tonight Show as well as a few interactive games for guests to try before entering the pre-show. There are also regular performances by the Barbershop Quartet, the Ragtime Gals, and Hashtag Panda, both of which feature on The Tonight Show as well as making appearances throughout the ride. Once you go through to the main stage area, you will have a race with Jimmy Fallon while seeing many of the famous landmarks around New York City. As you walk towards the lagoon, you will come to the next attraction, Revenge of the Mummy. This is an indoor roller coaster ride based on the Mummy franchise. The ride is very meta as you enter the film set of the next Mummy installment. The queue and pre-show features interviews with some of the cast, including Brendan Fraser playing himself. It explains that the curse from the movie is actually real, with Brendan being the only cast member not believing, which has dire consequences later on in the ride. The roller coaster has the ability to move from scene to scene at an incredible pace and features some amazing effects throughout. This ride replaced the awesome King Kong ride Confrontation in 2004 but has gone on to being a crowd favourite over the years. Be sure to ride this amazing attraction on your next visit to Universal Studios Florida. Before we move on to the next area, I have to mention the long-running Blues Brothers show that has actually been performing in the New York area since 1991. Make sure you check showtimes as you enter the park so you don't miss this amazing musical stage show that features many of the hit songs from the classic movie. We now move on to San Francisco, where you can become one of the family on Fast and Furious Supercharge. 
The pre-show and queue line sees you enter a garage that features many of the franchise's amazing vehicles. You then climb aboard a party bus as this dark ride takes you on an exciting adventure with all the cast from the Fast and Furious movies. Let's hope that it doesn't end in a disaster. Due to the popularity of the wizarding world of Harry Potter over in Islands of Adventure, this next area was added to Universal Studios Florida in 2014, making it the newest section in the park. As you walk along a regular London street, you can find the hidden entrance that will take you to Diagon Alley, featuring an amazing selection of shops, restaurants and attractions. Before you enter Diagon Alley, you can catch the Hogwarts Express that will take you directly to Hogsmeade over in Universal Orlando's other park, Islands of Adventure. Designed to look like London's King's Cross Station, you will enter platform 9 and 3 quarters as you become part of the story. You will encounter characters from the popular Harry Potter series including Hagrid, Dementors and of course Ron, Hermione and Harry before seeing the beautiful Hogwarts and arriving in Hogsmeade. It is the perfect way to travel between the two parks but you will need a two park ticket to ride this attraction. Within Diagon Alley there are a few exciting stage shows including a puppet show enacting stories from the tales of Beedle the Bard and a live musical performance by Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees, as well as a load of unique wizarding stores and dining locations. The flagship attraction in Diagon Alley is Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. This is a 3D motion-based steel roller coaster dark ride that is based around the wizarding bank Gringotts. You enter the bank surrounded by amazing audio animatronic goblins that interact with the guests before joining Harry Potter and the gang as you head down into the vaults and search for one of Voldemort's horcruxes. You'll meet many different characters as well as some magical creatures seen throughout the attraction. This is a great attraction with many exciting elements and is a must for any fan of the Harry Potter franchise. We now move on to what used to be one of the largest areas of the park, but is now the smallest. World Expo only houses one attraction, Men in Black Alien Attack. This is an interactive shooting dark ride which begins as a training exercise before an announcement of an alien prison ship crash landing in New York where you are instantly sent to battle the many different audio animatronic aliens before they cause too much damage. This is a great attraction for you to battle for the highest score against your family and friends to become the best recruit. Further around the lagoon, you will come to Springfield, the home of The Simpsons. You can have a beer in Moe's Tavern, grab some food in Krusty Burgers, and see a host of characters throughout this amazing land. The main attraction is The Simpsons Ride, a huge simulator ride that replaced the Back to the Future attraction in 2008. On the ride, you'll be introduced to a cartoon theme park called Krusty Land. However, Sideshow Bob is loose from prison and seeks revenge on Krusty and The Simpsons family by taking over Krusty Land and destroying the ride. On this six minute ride you'll recognize plenty of popular Simpsons characters as you try to escape from Sideshow Bob's demolition attempts. The ride utilizes the huge IMAX screens and ride cars from the previous attraction. Near the entrance of the ride, Krusty Land Carnival Games gives you the chance to win a prize at the various Midway stations. In 2013, Springfield was expanded, which included a new aerial carousel attraction called Kang and Kudos' Twirl and Hurl. This is based on the aliens that feature in the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes. You will ride a UFO and spin past many interactive characters as you join the aliens in destroying Springfield. In 2019, Disney bought 21st Century Fox, the company that produces The Simpsons, but Universal has a licensing deal until at least 2028, so it is unknown whether Springfield will remain in the future. The next area is Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone. This land features two play areas as well as a few attractions and shows. Curious George Goes to Town is a water play area that is a great way for younger guests to cool down in the hot weather. And it also includes an interactive area where you can shoot foam balls out of cannons. The other play area is Fivel's Playland. This is based on the animated film An American Tale and includes a huge climbing spider web, walkways and a 200 foot long water boat slide. 
Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster is a family roller coaster that was actually the first ever coaster built on the Universal Orlando Resort. Join Woody as you take a wild train ride through his nut factory, which gives you some great views of Kid Zone and the surrounding areas. In 2021, the new DreamWorks destination was added to the area, which is a stage show and meet and greet, where you can see various characters from DreamWorks animation, including Kung Fu Panda, Trolls, Madagascar, and Shrek. Near the entrance to Kid Zone is the stage show Animal Actors on Location. This is a 20 minute live show featuring handlers with trained animals from movies and TV shows, performing various tricks and showcasing their talents. The final attraction in Kid Zone is the only opening day attraction left in the park. It's the classic dark ride E.T. Adventure. This attraction was created by Universal along with the movie's director Steven Spielberg, who you can see before entering the indoor queue line giving information about the ride. As you enter inside, you'll be transported to a heavily forested area reminiscent of the film, with many props and easter eggs lying around. You'll then sit on a bicycle themed ride vehicle as you are tasked to return E.T. to his home planet. You'll perform the classic scene as you fly over the police car before going to the green planet and seeing all of E.T.'s family and friends before returning home. This is a quintessential universal attraction and I hope it remains in the park for years to come. We now come to the final area in the park, Hollywood. Starting with Universal's Horror Makeup Show, a live stage show themed as a behind the scenes presentation of special effects used in horror films. A pre-show allows guests to walk through and view various set pieces and props from various films such as the Universal Classic Monster series and Hellboy 2. This show has some audience participation and can be very funny as the hosts demonstrate how different effects are used in the movies. This show is very easy to miss but I highly recommend you check it out. Near to Universal's horror makeup show, you can see the all new live action musical show, Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas. You can see the classic Hollywood actress Marilyn Monroe and her backup dancers as they perform songs in the middle of the street. You can also see a host of other classic characters in Hollywood throughout the day. Look out for Betty Boop, Doc Brown, Scooby Doo and the gang, as well as some of the characters from Universal's Superstar Parade. The final attraction in Hollywood is the Bourne Stuntacular, a live action stunt stage show based on the Jason Bourne film series. This uses a mixture of moving set pieces and screens to travel across three continents and includes chase scenes, fist fights, and a bunch of parkour. If you're a fan of the Bourne series or stunts in general, you'll be impressed by the stunt performers and the state of the art technology used throughout the show. The show opened in 2020 and of course replaced the amazing Terminator 2 3D show, but I think it's a worthy replacement. Universal Studio Florida also has a daytime parade and a nighttime show. Universal's Superstar Parade starts next to Louis' Italian restaurant in New York, wraps down through Production Central, moves through Hollywood, and then exits near to the Horror Makeup Show Theater. You'll be able to see characters from Despicable Me, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Secret Life of Pets, and Dora the Explorer. Make sure you grab a Showtime's leaflet as you enter the park so you won't miss out on this amazing parade. Universal Orlando's cinematic celebration is the new Nighttime Lagoon Show in Universal's Central Park that can accommodate up to 6,500 guests. The show features 40-foot panoramic water curtains used as projection screens, fireworks, projection mapping onto surrounding buildings, and over 120 water fountains. Some of the scenes depicted include footage from film franchises such as Jurassic World, The Fast and the Furious, and Harry Potter. This is a great show and the perfect way to wrap up your day at Universal Studios Florida. If you haven't already booked your next Universal trip, then why not check out Undercover Tourist for some great deals on Universal and Disney hotels and tickets. And if you're watching from the UK, take a look at the amazing Universal and Disney packages that Virgin Holidays are offering right now. Both my affiliate links are in the description box below, so go check it out to see how much you could save on your next Orlando vacation. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I continue to make guides for all the Universal and Disney resorts from around the world. Let me know your favorite attractions at Universal Studios Florida in a comment down below. 
and why not check out this video of when I visited Universal Studios Beijing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict. Thank you.